dear students today we are going to start the chapter number 1 of t1 and in this chapter uh, we have, we will have different sessions in the first session we are going to learn prime numbers square root and cube root so first of all we are going to learn about the prime numbers so before starting the prime numbers uh, we are just uh, uh, recalling what are the different factors of a number like for example they have given the factors of 18 so the first factor of 18 is 1 into 18 and in the second uh, row uh, we if we have the number 2 uh, so which number we will multiply to get the 18 so it will be 9 uh, and similarly if we multiply 3 by 6 we again get the 18 so this means that 1 2 3 6 9 18 and 18 all are the factors of number 18 uh, and in the previous classes we have also divided the numbers into two basic group the one is called the even numbers and the other is called the odd numbers even numbers are those which are divisible by 2 such as 0 2 4 6 and 8 and the numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called the odd numbers so now we are going to classify the numbers in 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 another way and this classification according to this classification we divide the numbers into two group the first group is called the prime number and the other is called the composite number so basically this classification is based on the type of factors the number of factor it has so if a number is having two different factors then it is called the prime number and if it is having more than two factor then it is called the composite number and there are some numbers uh, such as 1 and 0 which are neither a prime number nor a composite number so the important thing to remember here is that that how many factor a number has if it is having two factors then it is called the prime number and it is having more than two factor then it is called the composite number in this activity we will find out different factors of a number and then we will classify it as either as a prime number or a composite number so like they have given some uh, solved example similarly we are going to find out the factors of 3 and the factor of 3 is 1 into 3 so the factor will be 1 and 3 similarly the factors of 5 will be 5 is equal to 1 into 5 so its its factor will be 1 and 5 and similarly uh, if we find out the factor of 6 we will have 1 into 6 and 2 into 3 so the factor of 6 will be 1 2 3 and 6 so we can see that number 3 5 and 2 these are the prime numbers why these are the prime numbers because all these two uh, these three numbers are only having two factors and uh, the number 6 is a composite number why it is a composite number because it is having more than two factors and the number 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number okay now we are going to learn about the index notation index notation is a type of uh, writing method uh, in which we write a number in the power form like for example if a number is written as 5 into 5 it can also be written as 5 to raised power 2 now this 5 to raised power 2 is actually an index notation uh, in which this 2 is the index of the uh, of this value so uh, and uh, and another thing is that the number uh, of times the uh, the number repeat is added up in the power form for example if we are having four files then we will write as 5 to raised power 4 so uh, in index notation when we are writing a number in index notation we have to write the base as the same like we are writing the 3 and then we have to count how many times the number is repeating and then that number is written as a index so this is called the index notation now coming towards the main uh, concept of the prime factorization we can uh, we can split a number into different prime uh, factors like 
we are we have given example of 18 that 18 is separated into two uh, two three and three factors and then this uh, is written in index notation now you have to notice that and you don't have to confuse this with the other factors because uh, in the prime factorization the factors could only be prime numbers whereas when we uh, we we have uh, separated a number of 18 into its factor we have some other numbers like 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 and all these are not the prime number so prime factorization is different from the determining the factor of a number to determine the prime factors of a number we have two method the first method is called the division method in the division method for example we are having a number 60 we, we start it by dividing the smallest uh, smallest prime number and then the answer is then gradually again divided and divided on the small uh, prime numbers and we get the uh, this uh, num these numbers are actually the prime factors and on the other side we see the prime factorization method of uh, a factor tree in a factor tree we first split the uh, the number into 2 and 30 the smallest prime number and the product of the number should be equal to the uh, final answer that is 60 in the next step the prime number is written the same like the 2 and 2 and then 30 is divided into two numbers 2 into 15 and again uh, in each step the number is uh, divided like 15 is divided into split it into two prime numbers 3 and 5 so in this way we uh, have uh, determined the factors or prime factors of the number 60 that is 2 uh, 2 3 and 5 and in the index notation it is written as 2 to raised power 2 because 2 is repeated 2 times into 3 into 5 the last concept is the square and the square root and cube and the cube root the only thing is to remember is that in the square form if we take the square root then it is cancelled with this like 5 to raised power 2 into square root as the power 1 over 2 so the answer will be 5 similarly if we have the cube root then the cube root uh, cube is cancelled with the cube root like if we have the cube of 5 then we have the cube root and the cube root will be cancelled in this way so the answer will again be 5 so we the thing to remember is that square is opposite to the square root and cube is opposite to the cube root so i hope you uh, would have liked this video and if you want to like my more videos please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching allah hafiz